So this week's safety talk will be over hearing and eye protection. Hearing protection. OSHA requires employers to protect employees from noise levels at 85 decibels and above. Hearing protectors must, according to OSHA, be made available when employees are working with decibels higher than 85. Psychological effects mean that noise can startle you, annoy you, and disrupt your concentration. Noise can interfere with your communications when you are talking to coworkers. It also interferes with your job performance and your safety. Many times, workers resist wearing hearing protection because they do not realize that hearing loss is a gradual process, and once the damage is done, it cannot be reversed. A poorly fitted piece of protection equipment can cause headache or pain. Remember, always to participate in the company-provided annual hearing test. Reduce noise by placing machines behind sound barriers, keep equipment maintained, and placing equipment on rubber mats or sound-absorbing mats. Use assigned hearing protectors such as earmuffs, earplugs, and canal caps. Never use cotton, stereo headsets, or other makeshift protectors. They don't protect your hearing. See your supervisor immediately if you have your equipment adjusted or refitted. Okay, so Manuel is going to show us, uh, demonstrate how to properly insert an earplug. First, we're going to squeeze the earplug. So what we're going to do next is grab the opposite hand with ear and ear. Then you will place the earplug um, as best you can inside the ear canal. And then when you're done with that, you want to repeat the same steps to the next ear. Eye protection. Universal requires eye protection to be worn by a person entering a production area yard, or other designated area where a hazard exits that may cause eye injury or irritation. Basic eye protection shall be provided at no cost to the employee. If an employee wears prescription glasses, they are required to wear either company-provided safety glasses or goggles over their own glasses. Eyes need protection from flying objects such as wood chips, staples, nails, etc., splashes, swinging objects, electrical sparks, sawdust, mites, gases, and vapors. Remember, eye injuries can be expensive and, ca and can cause permanent loss to the victim. Remember, always wear protective eyewear in the workplace. Always replace eyewear that is damaged or defective. Always replace eyewear that has lenses that are too pitted, scratched, etc. to see through. Avoid wearing contact lenses in areas with dust and or chemicals. Make sure to clean your lenses after every use and disinfect eyewear if it becomes contaminated. Remember that eyewear should fit on the bridge of your nose and the center of your lens should be in front of your eye.